Hey, what's going on everyone? Today, December the 5th, 2021, we are going to talk about Sundow Growers today. Yeah, we're going to talk about this particular market because I want to give you all a heads up. I, I know a lot of people has been pumping the market for, you know, Sundow Growers. And we did a video not long ago, playing the strength. The market did that. We came and accomplished what our goals were. And now I really need to show you all what to expect until the market in Sundial grows. Now, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to hide anything from you all. If I'm still seeing the market being bearish, I'm going to tell you that. If I'm seeing the market being bullish, I'm going to give you that information as well. Because in today's time, we can actually profit from the market in either direction. So why should we be emotional when the market goes down? We shouldn't be because we should have been making money on that movement. So make sure you guys keep it locked in here. Hit the like button. Should have been also subscribed to the channel. I mean, you're going to see a whole lot of other YouTubers trying to give you all to look at a company's fundamental analysis, trying to look at their financials. They want you all to think of some type of news catalyst to think that it's going to spur price movement. And that's not the case. You will also see other YouTubers try to give you to understand some technical indicators. RSIs, you know, MACDs, Bollinger Bands, Stochastics, Fibonacci retracements. Like all of these things is not going to give you the benefit. The only thing that you need to be worried about is the price. And that is what I focus on. I don't care about nothing else. Everything else is literally garbage because it doesn't benefit us in seeing where price is going to go. And when we can see the turn, take a look. For instance, I did a video in Sundial, right? November the 10th, I told you then, be prepared for the price to go up in Sundial Growers. 15 and three quarters of a percent was had on the 12th, so two days two days you guys could have got 15 and three quarters of a percent out the market now did we exceed that we did price went all the way up there towards 90 cents that's 31 percent if you was able to time that at the high that's very hard to do i will tell you that to time the market but we was there we got 15 and three quarters out out the percent of the market before the market went down in sundown growers everyone else wants you to continue to hold these plays for the next 5 10 15 years when you just could have garnered 15 and three quarters of a percent because if you wasn't able to grab that bag then when sundial growth was trading at 83 cents 85 cents you're now down into play about 21 and three quarters of a percent yeah sometimes you got to know when to grab the money when to take the bread because now it's a different story yeah i know i know you guys don't like to hear that but it is what it is once you understand the market like we do, you understand that every market is not a long term hold. You can't keep your money locked up for 13 years and expect you to come out on top because every market is not like that. This is Sundial Growers now. If you didn't, if you didn't get that 15 and three quarters of a percent out the market. Look at this. Take a look. This is it. You tell me this is a biased market. I mean, are you telling me that this is where the demand is coming in for Sundial Growers? Take a look at this. The market tells us the information already. People cannot lie when it comes to what they do with the money. When they come in and buy it, when they come in and sell it. And the price chart is literally the diagram of what people have been doing. Now, take a look. Market came in beginning of this year. Saw a price hit $4. Cool. People were selling though, okay? We saw the market selling beginning of this year. We came down. Market got another pop. In March, price traded around $1.78. That was the high. Cool, people were selling. Market came back down. Saw another pop. Back here in June, price hit a high about $1.45, $1.45. People were selling. Price went back down. We saw another pop. In November, price trade around 90 cents. People were selling. This is how the market is, is literally telling you the answers. You don't have to push against it. As long as you follow what the information is being revealed on price chart, you will be okay. You'll know when to get in and when to get out. The market was selling every time we saw a pop occur for the year 2021. Now, what do you think is going to happen into the market in Sundial Growers? Right. I, I don't see a play. And when you don't see a market in a play, you don't participate. You find another opportunity. You find another market that you can actually make money from. This is not an opportunity where you can see 
sundial growers make money we're not trading the market is just simply trading sideways i would give it you know from 45 cents to maybe 90 cents that is not a play look at this from a two weeks perspective now question we broke this support area that i identified on my last video around 60 cents we broke that to the downside which is commensurate with what we saw the last two weeks right here this is inducive of people telling you the market mostly was selling most of the positions that occurred the last two weeks has been selling i would say the last four weeks beginning of the month of november the whole month of november it was majorly selling People wasn't buying the market in Sundial Growers. Now, given that that's the case, given that price has broken this 60 cent support area that I identified, it tells us that, okay, we cannot be looking for price to go up for one and we need to identify the next area of support. Let's try to do that now. Can you see here from a two week perspective where the market can now find support? Yes, you can right here. It's around 45 cents. That's going to be the next area for us to see the market grab support. This is not hard. This is not complicated. Why do people try to make this thing so hard and complicated? We're only here to make money. Everyone else is here to make money. If you're not looking at the price, you're causing yourself undue diligence. You don't have to do that much due diligence because everyone else is doing their own due diligence before they come in and make a play before they come in and buy or sell. They do their own research. And when they do it, I come in and simply look at what they are talking about because the price and what they do is literally due diligence within itself. So now, two weeks, yeah, the market still looks weak in Sundial Growers. Look at this on a weekly time frame. Three consecutive weeks, we've seen the price in Sundial Growers go down. Now, let's see how much of a movement to the downside can we really get? Because if not that big, there's no need for us to even play in it. 20%, 20 and a quarter percent movement to the downside in Sundial Growers. Is that worth it? To you, it might be. To others, it might not. To go down another 20%. Right? But I will tell you that. That would be the next area for us to focus in on into the marketing year and um, sundial growers. OK, now I'm not going to put in a price prediction. I'm not going to. The market is weak. I'm going to play the weakness. Um, looking forward to go down to around 45, maybe 50 cents. And then we might get a new bounce, a new pop into the market. Just like what I've shown you earlier for the year of 2021. We might see that again. OK, but this is not a play. There's nothing here for us to really garner from sundial growers now if you're trying to accumulate your position in sundial growers that's cool i understand you're trying to grab the bag try to increase your holdings in sundial growers because you see bigger plans into the future for this company or for this stock this is not it right now though i'm just here to tell you that now from what the chart is reflecting to us on these time frames okay this is not it okay so I'm going to play the weakness into the market in Sundial Growers. Like I said, not that weak. Maybe another 20% movement to the downside. We can see the price come towards. Um, we're going to continue to play the weakness until we see price in the Sundial Growers break above 70 cents. Okay. That is what we're going to do. That's it. It's done. It's simple, right? Nothing hard, nothing complicated. The chart is already telling us how the majority of the market feels. They feel like they don't want to buy the market in Sundar Growers. So we're going to continue to fall by that. All right. So now it's your turn. Drop me your price prediction into the market for Sundar Growers with a comment below. Tell me where do you all think the price is going to be to end out the rest of 2021 in the next couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Where will price be in Sundar Growers? Again, I don't see a lot of volatility coming in. You know, I still see a little bit of weakness first. Then we might get another bounce. All right. That's what I'm seeing. Now, what do you see? Hit me up and let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.